BT's Body and Balance is sponsored by Canada Diagnostic Centers, offering MRI, X-ray, and ultrasound services in Calgary and Okotoks. It is Sun Awareness Week, Tuesday. We spoke mm -hmm. with health specialist Leah Sarich about protecting our skin from the sun's damaging rays. Today, we look at the ice. Yeah, that's kind of the same principle, really, because as we talked about on Tuesday, basically sun damage is cumulative, so it happens right. over time. So in the same idea in terms of its cumulative damage that we're trying to prevent with our skin, it's the same principle when it comes to the eyes. So I spoke with optometrist Dr. Ferris Underji, and she says the big message here is that 80% of UV damage occurs before the age of 18. Uh -huh. Before the age of 18. So parents out there, this is the big challenge, is try mm. to get those sunglasses on the kids as early as possible. In fact, Dr. Sundarji says if you can start in infancy, you're golden. Ooh, True get story. Them used to it. Yeah, get them started yeah. right from the very big day. So similar to what we talked about. So it is this idea of cumulative damage that happens over time. So Dr. Sundarji says wearing sunglasses is like wearing sunscreen for your eyes. And if you don't wear them, you are in fact leaving yourself at risk. When you're not wearing sunglasses, UV light enters the eye. In the long run, it can cause cataracts and macular degeneration, which can lead to blindness. When you're also not wearing sunwear, you're not protecting the skin around the eye, and 5 to 10 percent of skin cancers occur on the skin around the eyes. So those are big reasons, right? Skin yeah. cancer, for sure, and uh, macular degeneration, cataracts. And in fact, you want to make sure you're wearing the right kind of sunglasses as mm -hmm. well. Dr. Sunderji recommends lenses with 99 to 100% UVA and UVB protection. So you can get a lot of lenses out there without this. So think of the lenses that you're picking up at the gas station or, you yeah, know, at the pharmacy right. or what have you. Those are, in fact, doing more damage than good because what's happening is, is because they are shaded, they're allowing your pupils to open up. Mm -hmm. and then you're actually taking in more UV light without any protection. So you're doing more harm than good if you don't wear proper sunglasses. And most people don't realize there are actually four different types of lenses that you can get. So we have the gray lens, which provides the most coverage. So it's great when you're in direct sunlight. We have a bronze lens, which provides more warmth to what you're looking at. So it's great for everyday wear. We have a green lens, which lightens everything up so it's great for overcast days. We also have the rose lens which is great for activities such as sports because it provides increased depth perception. So there you go, another reason to wear those giant sunglasses, you're protecting the skin around the eye. And you also want to match it to the activities that you do. So you can get polarized lenses, for example. That's what you're seeing here where they actually reduce the glare. That's what you're seeing when they went in front of the parrot there. You can also choose various different kinds of coatings as well. For example, anti-reflective coating. It reduces the amount of light around the eye. So these options too can even help reduce eye fatigue and eye strain as well. And you can even prevent things like headaches down the road. So many, many any reasons to wear the proper sunglasses and really talk to your optometrist when you go see them at your annual visit mm -hmm. about that sun protection and what you need. So worth spending the extra money it on is, the real deal, right? I did it for the first time this year and I can tell you it makes a huge difference. Okay, uh, breakfasttelevision.ca, more on your blog? Absolutely, more on my blog. Health specialist Leah Sarich, thank you for